Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, thank you for joining us uh, in this webinar today. Uh, Anku, you are welcome to start sharing my slides and I'll make a, an introduction uh, for myself uh, and for everybody uh, who has joined us. My name is, uh, is Gareth Gibson. Uh, I work for Trimble uh, Incorporated out of the, the New Zealand office where I live uh, in Christchurch. Uh, and I've worked for Trimble for almost 20 years now in a variety of roles, uh, mostly in product marketing um, and working for our geospatial organization. Uh, and I'm involved with the product development process, uh, helping to decide what we what we build, which markets we address, and which customers we try and, and serve. And so uh, I'm very excited uh, to be here today to talk to you about uh, Trimble Catalyst and specifically the Trimble DA2 uh, GNSS antenna. So Anku, I'm not sure if uh, my slides are showing us. You could just give me a thumbs up or start sharing my slides. There we go. Okay. So the topic of today's uh, presentation is unleashing the power of accuracy in India. And I'm going to talk about specifically the Trimble DA2 GNSS receiver. As I was thinking about uh, how, to, how to make this presentation today and how to tailor it for this audience specifically, I thought that I would try to connect with you all uh, on, a shared, on a shared passion. So outside of work, uh, I am an avid cricketer. I've played cricket all my life. Um, since the age of, of seven, and I continue to play today poorly as a as a forty year old. Uh, and I thought that I would share a quote from one of my favourite cricketers, and I'm sure one of your all favourite cricketers as well, Sachin Tendulkar. And the quote goes: "Power without control is useless, and efficiency without power is futile." We're not going to talk about cricket today, but I thought that that Tendulkar's message here was quite relevant in that you can have all the power in the world, but without the skill to wield it, it's a, a really of little use to you. And similarly, you can have efficiency in your actions um, and they can lead you in the right direction, but with, um, with you still need power to move, uh, to move you forward and keep you moving. And so for me, I'm trying to relate this quotation back to the idea of productivity. And the idea that productivity is not just about accuracy or capacity or any other number of different variables, but really it's about a combination of all of those things that need to come together cohesively. It's a great quote uh, from a great man. So how do we tie that back to today's topic and uh, the idea of unlocking the power of accuracy? So I'm going to try and tell that story through the context of GNSS positioning technology, okay, and how an innovative product platform can, from Trimble is trying to drive productive field work in the areas of asset mapping and surveying and field operations to unlock the power of accuracy through a number of factors, not just by being the most accurate, not by just being the most powerful, but by a number of things coming together, accuracy, scalability, simplicity, and flexibility, and how that can drive uh, field operations and productivity uh, for you all uh, in the nation of India. So I thought that I would start the presentation leading off from there by taking a, a quick look at the market itself in India and trying to set the scene around why I believe um, India is, is just ripe for disruption and ripe for um, a product like Trimble Catalyst. So overall, I would say that the geospatial market in India is absolutely thriving at the moment. You're driven by strong support from your government. Um, and that is leading to an increased ado adoption of geospatial technology across multiple sectors. Okay, the market holds immense, immense potential for further growth and innovation, and that's contributing to India's overall development and your digital transformation as a country. The first thing I'm going to call out is strong market growth. So growing at a rate of around 12 to 15 percent on a compound annual growth rate measurement basis, and that's driven, as I said, by strong government initiatives and infrastructure projects, smart city initiatives, and the rising adoption of geospatial technologies in general. And you'll see that in these other, other five elements as well. So India government initiatives like the National GIS and Digital India have been launched, and they are really promoting the use of geospatial 
data and geospatial technology for both governance, planning and decision making at multiple levels across India. This is idea of emerging technology. This is a global thing, but it applies specifically in India as well. So remote sensing, imagery and mapping technologies are now extensively being used for surveying, resource mapping, environmental monitoring, disaster management and agricultural applications as well. And emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence and machine learning and their integration with existing business workflows is going to play a vital role in, in driving that next era of, of connected technologies. The next item is location-based services and infrastructure. So commercial location-based services, everything from, from logistics to, to asset tracking to real-time monitoring have really witnessed an explosive growth in India and around the world. And that growth is creating a demand for accurate real-time geospatial information and data to feed those services. And then a couple of specific India things, right? So you have a really strong startup ecosystem and culture in the country of India. So in, in India's culture of innovation is really fueling geospatial startups, focusing on GIS, focusing on mapping and, and survey technology, use of drones, for example. And these startups are bringing even more innovation and driving the growth of the market and leading to even more spending, more innovation. And then the final point that I want to make is that India has a, has a massive, massive pool of skilled geospatial professionals. And that's been driven by government initiatives um, and includes things like, or people like surveyors, GIS professionals, remote sensors, cartographers, and data scientists. So many universities and institutions in India are offering specialized courses and programs in the geospatial sector. Um, and this is starting to, to meet the industry's growing demand for skilled personnel. So all of these things in my mind are coming together uh, in a really unique way to create um, an environment where new ways of thinking and new technologies are really important and are going to be really, really needed. That is going to lead me to this, the Trimble DA2 and, and Trimble Catalyst. So Catalyst is a, is a new type of technology. It's a new concept or a new way of thinking around GNSS or a Global Navigation Satellite System Technology. It's a receiver and an antenna in one. It's been custom designed from the ground up for use with a, a, a package or a system that we call the, the Catalyst Positioning Service. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how that came to be and why it's a unique product. We started the conversation at Trimble about what if we could make GNSS data available to a much, much wider audience. Typically, a, a survey grade receiver is something that's very expensive. It can be very heavy. It's designed to be rugged and used all day. But we knew that this the market has evolved. This convergence of technology is happening. And a new era or a new type of user needs to have access to high accuracy systems and products as well. So we were asking ourselves this question, how could we make this type of technology available to more people? To be successful, we knew that we would need to do a number of things that we'd not really done very well in the past. So simplifying the technology for non-experts, for example, we had typically focused on, on GIS professionals and, and survey grade professionals. We knew that it needed to be affordable enough that just about anybody can use it. We knew that we wanted to make a system that was flexible enough to meet the needs of all different types of users. It needed to be a product that was small enough and light enough to fit and be used almost everywhere and scalable enough to be able to be used by an individual all the way through to an enterprise-sized organization that could equip an entire organization of field operators with this technology. And we wanted to do that all without compromising any of the performance of the system. And that's where we came to with Trimble Catalyst, GNSS positioning as a service. Okay. So as I said, we've completely reimagined what we, what we need or what we believe GNSS positioning to be. We're trying to deliver this as an all-in-one subscription. It comprises a small and very lightweight RTK-capable receiver and GNSS antenna. We haven't made any compromises on precision or accuracy. It works everywhere in the world without a base station. It works online or offline. You can use it in real time or you can post-process the data with the appropriate piece of software to, to capture the information that you need. And it works with almost any location-enabled application or service. And it works on every Android and iOS device. And as you can see in the picture, it's very small and very light. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this product. As I said, extremely small and extremely light, but still very rugged. 
So less than 130 millimeters in diameter and less than 50 millimeters high, it fits in your rucksack, it fits in the, in the glove box of your vehicle. It's extremely light at only 330 grams. It's light enough to carry around all day. It is ingress protected and it's extremely rugged. So it's rated uh, for, for resistance to, to dust and particles and, and water. So you can use it in wet and dry and cold and warm and hot conditions. And it's military tested as well, which means that we put this product through its paces in terms of making sure that it can be used across a very broad range of temperatures. It can be used in a very wide range of, of environmental conditions as well. It can be exposed to vibrations. It can be exposed to mechanical shock. It can be exposed to chemicals and fog and salt water and those sorts of things and it will continue to work very, very well. It's a high performance system. It uses Trimble Pro Point technology. Our, our, our custom technology that we put in our very high end survey grade receivers is also available in this product. Pro Point technology means that you get strong performance in terms of accuracy, in terms of reliability and productivity in challenging GNSS conditions. What that means is that if you're operating this product near buildings, near trees, uh, near other types of obstructions which are blocking the signals that the receiver and the antenna can, can acquire uh, from the satellites uh, up in space, that it will continue tracking and will continue generating high quality positions compared to other types of receiver. And we've had very good feedback around the quality of this product in terms of its performance in difficult GNSS conditions. It's a highly spec device. I'm not gonna go through this entire list of specifications. These are available on the Trimble website at catalyst.trimble.com. You can download a data sheet and get all of this information yourself. However, the important thing to point out is the information in the top right-hand corner, really, which focuses on the accuracy capabilities of the system. So down to 10 millimeters in accuracy in optimum conditions with uh, a, a, a single baseline RTK um, base station uh, available. We also support Trimble RTX correction services, which is our global satellite delivered and, and mobile data delivered um, correction service, which means that you do not need to bring a base station into the field because you can just use Trimble RTX services. And of course, if there is also um, code differential or SBAS type services available in your region, for example, um, Gagan, then you can use that as well. And in terms of the GNSS constellations that we support, everything from GPS to GLONASS to, to Beidou to Galileo to QZSS and uh, also the, the, the Indian National uh, IRNSS system as well is also supported on this platform. As I said, no base station is required for this product. So anywhere in the world, effectively, you can use this and achieve two centimeter accuracy uh, in a very short period of time without needing to set up or know about your own base station. We've completely automated the connection to the receiver and the configuration and the use of, uh, of correction services uh, so that you can get high accuracy at almost every location. There are some parts of the world where the performance is even quicker. So where we have uh, a network of base station infrastructure that the Catalyst service is using, and that is more dense in places like North America, Western Europe, most of New Zealand and parts of Australia, uh, then the performance is even quicker and we can leverage the Trimble VRS Now network. Um, in the rest of the world, by default, the system will use Trimble RTX and you'll achieve the accuracy levels that I displayed on the previous slide. That's not to say that if you have access to your own network infrastructure that you can't connect, you absolutely can, and you will receive very fast results with that over short baselines as well. So your mileage will vary dependent on a number of variables. Um, for example, overhead conditions, the distance from the nearest uh, infrastructure that the system is connecting to and using. Um, uh, but in general, high, high accuracy is, is available. One unique thing about the DA2 receiver, and you see it pictured here, uh, is the off-the-shelf compatible powering solution that we use for this product. So you can say goodbye to expensive or proprietary battery systems with this receiver because it is simply using off the shelf uh, USB powered power sources. So um, an example of like the one is, is shown on the right there. So the DA2 itself is powered through a USB interface, um, which means that any power source which is USB compatible can be used to power this device. That also means that if you are wanting to connect to and use a USB-C phone or tablet that supports power output, you can leverage the battery of the phone or the tablet itself 
to power this device with the appropriate cable. The cable that you see coming out of the bottom of the antenna there is easy to switch out uh, for, for a different connector uh, if you have a USB-C type device. In terms of the runtime that you get, well, it's really dependent on how many batteries you want to take with you into the field. But a, a typical cell like the one that you see there, I believe you can get five hours or so with that. You can use a larger battery, you can get a full day of operation. And if you take multiple batteries into the field with you, uh, which is very simple to do and very cost effective to do because of the style of, of battery that it uses, um, then this is, this is something that you can very easily manage as well. One receiver, any accuracy. So Catalyst is designed as a paper accuracy service or, or dial in your accuracy that you want. So depending on the type of application that you are using, you can choose between Catalyst 1, Catalyst 10, Catalyst 30, and Catalyst 60 levels of accuracy. And the accuracies that you see are based on those images in this, in this slide here. And so you only pay for the accuracy level that you need. You use that same receiver. You can subscribe to one level of accuracy and then in the future decide that you need to upgrade your accuracy and use a different level for a different project. Or you can downgrade your accuracy and pay a smaller amount if your accuracy requirements changed um, uh, over time. And similarly, accuracy where and when you need it. So you don't need to, to pay for a year and use this product all year round. You can choose to pay for just a few months or a month at a time if you are working on projects, if you are working on something that is more seasonal in nature, or if you don't know how many users you require, you can scale up and scale down the number of users that are using this product within your organization very easily. So monthly and annual plans are the standard offerings. We also have a, a unique service called on hourly on demand. This is a service where you can buy time in one hour ticket increments uh, and then trigger those hours and consume those one hour at a time. It is the most effective and cost effective way to access centimeter grade positioning in a GNSS system anywhere in the world. I'm unaware of any other service that uses this level of, uh, of le level of service and allows you to connect to the receiver at a very, very low cost for the hardware, less than $1,000, less than $500, um, and then pay just hour by hour to access and use centimeter grade positions. So it's intended to be extremely flexible and extremely simple. And that means that a team of any size can use this product, whether you're a single operator working for your organization or whether you're an organization with a thousand field workers who all want to use this system. This is the only Genesis receiver that can scale so cost effectively as this. And this is a real photograph of a, of a true customer deployment. You would not see survey grade receivers being sent into the market for a single organization in this quantity and this volume. Uh, this is real, uh, real, real game changer in my opinion in terms of unleashing accuracy to a much, much wider audience of people. So whether, you know, this is an occasional use product or a, or a, um, or a, a seasonal work or, or using students to do a, a very specific focus period of time, this is the sort of product that you can use because you are not investing heavily in upfront capital. You are able to, to run this effectively as an operating cost. Uh, DAT, as I said, can be used with, with any application um, that is compatible with, with iOS and Android. Within Trimble, we offer um, dedicated software for asset data capture and inspection in, in the form of Trimble Teraflex, which is our cloud-based data capture application. We also offer access, Trimble Access on, on, a, on the Android platform in India for, for what I would describe as more traditional survey workflows. Um, but you can use this GNSS receiver with any software, uh, provided it is able to connect to and run on a, an Android or an iOS device. We have a middleware application, which we call Trimble Mobile Manager, which brokers the connection to the receiver. And then the mobile manager application can then send positions to any application. So your application doesn't even need to be aware of Trimble or who Trimble is. They just, it just needs to know that it needs a position. And the Trimble Mobile Manager application can be responsible for the connection, uh, for the configuration of corrections, if there is any customized corrections that need to be um, uh, controlled, uh, and then potentially also um, any changes to uh, to the transform or, or the application of, of, of transformation settings as well to, to, to transform the position into your required local coordinate system as well. 
So lots and lots of options there. And then if you're an app developer, <clears throat> we also provide the ability for you to build your own applications using Trimble Precision SDK um, to connect to and, and, and build a custom application which connects directly to this receiver as well. And that's available for Android and iOS uh, uh, platforms as well. And you can get more information at the link that you see here. So developer trimblegeospatial.com slash catalyst and all the information that you need to get started there um, is, is available on that website. So that is Trimble DA2 and Trimble Catalyst. I want to try and relate this back to some real world use cases. So I've got some examples of how Catalyst is being used today uh, and some ideas about how that may be applicable to you. So Catalyst in action around the world. We describe mapping in GIS as everything from archaeology to zoology or A to Z, and it really does describe the breadth of applications uh, that GNSS technology is being used for, for asset capture, for inspection, for safety and maintenance operations. So oil and gas is probably one of our larger, um, our, our larger markets that we address at Trimble, and, and especially around asset inspections and as built. So in North America, Catalyst is being used extensively today in this industry. I've provided a, a, an India perspective on these slides as well, just to try and make this help this make this relevant for you. So obviously, oil and oil and gas is uh, well, gas natural gas is only six percent of the energy mix in India. It's been pitched as India's uh, transition fuel, and there's a lot of investment in infrastructure uh, about to happen. Uh, a lot of money involved in in the in the gas industry in India. Electricity. So energy, oil and gas, the, the, the electricity generation, transmission, distribution industries has lots of infrastructure, asset inventories need to be carried out on this stuff every day to understand what exists, where it should go, what condition the infrastructure is in. So India is the, lar the third largest producer of electricity in the world uh, and will require an additional 500 billion investment in wind and solar infrastructure energy storage and, and grid expansion over the next, let's call it seven years or so, um, to, to reach its uh, 450 gigawatt target of renewable energy capacity. So again, there's lots of investment happening in here. All of that infrastructure needs to be mapped to know what you've got, to know where it is and to know what condition it is in. Geomorphology, perhaps the bigger bucket here is natural science. So uh, GNSS is a very critical tool in the natural sciences and the earth sciences space as well. So uh, here's an example from a customer in France using Catalyst to map and monitor uh, coastal erosion. Um, obviously, climate change is, is a massive issue and a massive topic for everybody. India is, is, is perhaps even more susceptible uh, to climate change uh, than many other countries. And out of just over 7,000 kilometers of coastline, it's estimated that, that almost 6,000 of that coastline is prone to, to cyclones and, and the damage from, from tsunami events. And so knowing how uh, the environment is changing and using GNSS technology to map that and measure that over time uh, is an effective tool. And Catalyst is the type of product that can be used for that in a very cost-effective way. Water utilities, we have a, a lot of customers using Catalyst uh, in, in the water industry, um, mapping everything from, from pipelines to, to sewer networks to, um, to the location and condition of assets. Um, this is an example from a customer in the United Kingdom uh, where they used Catalyst to, to conduct a risk assessment. They are experiencing annual flooding um, and they used Catalyst to, to map their to map their network and to, to gain a better understanding of what it was that was causing that flooding. And they managed to, to, to uncover the source of, of, uh, of, of the flooding and, and take remedial actions much more quickly than they, than they thought that they, could, they would otherwise be able to. And again, uh, 91 million citizens, um, almost 6% of the population in India currently lack access to safe water. So again, there's lots of work happening in this space uh, to make uh, water infrastructure safer, uh, to make water infrastructure accessible um, in, in India. Land rights, uh, cadastral survey. Again, this is, a, this is a topic which probably has some applica applicability in India as well. Um, but we work with Cadaster, um, which is a non-profit organization, and they've been uh, throwing uh, catalyst into the field across Africa uh, in some various uh, land 
land rights uh, applications. We're also seeing similar work being done in South America. Um, owning and having official records uh, to land is, is obviously very, very important. Catalyst is a tool uh, that can fit very well into the space for um, putting the technology in the hands of people that aren't trained surveyors, aren't trained aren't, you know, cadastral experts, uh, but it can work for them in a very cost-effective and, and manageable way. Uh, and I think the final example that I've got here is consulting services. So around the world, there's a, again, this probably fits in the A to Z bucket, but there's so many different applications uh, and consulting organizations that are taking products like Catalyst as a tool into their own toolbox and using it uh, for varying applications. We have a lot of customers doing aerial uh, photogrammetric surveys and they need a fast and simple and easy solution for something like uh, ground control point capture. And this is the, the photograph example that you see here. So um, Catalyst fits really, really well in that. And again, I come back to this idea of India's geospatial economy just absolutely booming um, and, and calling out for technologies and tools that are effective and fast and safe and simple uh, like Trimble Catalyst. So in summary, we see Catalyst as a tool that can be used across the asset life cycle um, in any industry um, because having accurate asset information leads to optimized asset usage. So whether it's the, the phase of planning and understanding or whether it's installation and mapping what you have, or whether it's performing inspections and audits on infrastructure once it exists, or whether it's performing maintenance and upgrading uh, infrastructure or even decommissioning uh, infrastructure and assets at the end of their life, accuracy plays a role in each of those phases of the asset life cycle. And having tools that can give you that accuracy quickly and easily is really important. No matter the asset, no matter the industry, accuracy matters. So to wrap up, um, Trimble Catalyst positioning as a service, a completely reimagined GNSS receiver. Uh, an all-in-one subscription delivering everything that you need to get accuracy and it works with any application, works online, works offline, works around the world um, and works with any application uh, on almost any mobile device. If you all want more information about this product, I welcome uh, you to head to catalyst.trimble.com where you can find case studies, technical information, tutorials and videos about how the system works and importantly how and where to get in contact with our distribution network uh, for, for where to purchase this product. But ultimately there's just a lot more learning material uh, on, on the website. So that concludes my presentation. Um, let's take a look at the questions uh, that have come in. I can see a few uh, I can see a few that have come in. So let me just take a quick look here. Uh, okay, so the first question from, from uh, Yuganch, um, uh, wanting to understand more on the integration of DA2 within ESRI, ArcGIS, web and mobile applications across the platform. So Trimble works very closely with the ESRI um, field operations applications group uh, and specifically uh, on the uh, ArcGIS field maps and ArcGIS Survey123 product teams. We are integrated with them and work very closely. So uh, ArcGIS field maps uses TPSDK or Trimble Precision SDK uh, and works with the Trimble Mobile Manager application. Um, and basically that, that enables and, and enables a workflow directly within within the field maps application. You still need to run the TMM application on the side, but those products are are um, uh, are compatible with each other. And also on Survey123. So Survey123 doesn't use TPSDK, but they leverage the Trimble Mobile Manager application directly. So you can use either of those applications. And in fact, any of the of the ESRI ArcGIS uh, mobile applications can be used. And so that connects back into the into the web piece with ArcGIS Online as well. So um, that answers that question, I believe. Uh, RTX accuracy was the second question uh, that came in. Um, uh, we are getting, what accuracy are we getting in India? Um, is sub-meter and repeatability on a single point. So, so uh, perhaps that is a, a question or a comment around the level of performance uh, of RTX. Um, with Trimble Catalyst or RTX in general in India. 
So RTX is supported down to down to two centimeters globally. Uh, what that does mean in some places is that the convergence time does take a little bit longer. So RTX uh, is, operates in two modes. Um, there is a, a RTX fast mode and an R RTX standard mode. And RTX standard is what is available in India. It does means it does mean that at times the convergence uh, time that you that you will see does take a little bit longer, and that that is true for both the internet delivered signal and for the satellite delivered signal. But um, you, I would expect uh, that the the performance of RTX uh, with Trimble Catalyst to be able to get down to those very low levels of accuracy, and it should just depend on the subscription type. Uh, that you have, whether it's a Catalyst 1, Catalyst 10, Catalyst 30, or, or Catalyst 60. Um, I will go to the next question that I see here that I can't answer, which is, please explain more about cause networks. So, uh, so cause networks, or continually, continually operating reference station networks, are basically the infrastructure uh, that is used to provide correction services or correction signals for rover receivers like the Trimble Catalyst DA2 receiver. Um, the way that they they generally work is is that they are um, occupying a a known location or a, or a, a network of these cores reference stations uh, are occupying known locations computing. The position that they are receiving from the GNS signals that they can see, and comparing that to what their known position is, and then we can use a, a process called differential correction, which is which is comparing the residuals of um, of the differences in location or the difference in timing uh, of of the GNSS signals to determine um, to determine how far away, uh, well, to determine what error exists in that location. The, the positions that are being generated or the, or, the, or the measurements that have been made in each location then can, be, can then be combined and that signal can be sent to a rover receiver which is nearby to say, hey, I'm here getting this level of error, so therefore you're probably getting the same level of error, apply this correction to your own location and that can improve the, the performance of the receiver itself in the field. The unique thing with Trimble Catalyst is that, it, is that we automate the connection to those uh, reference stations using the Trimble RTX network, using Trimble VRS now. So that means that you need to know less about the configuration and setup of a GNSS receiver. You can disconnect it to it and it will, and it will work. Um, there's probably more information on the website that you can go to and, and look at to learn more about cause networks and the idea of differential correction, but hopefully I've answered that question well enough uh, for now. Uh, the difference between RTK and RTX, that's a great question. It's a really good question, and I'm probably not the most technical person to be able to, to answer that, but um, uh, I will do my best. So RTK, or real-time kinematic precision uh, positioning, is using these cores networks, um, whereas RTX is what I would describe as a, as a precise point positioning technology. It's a different way of doing the same thing. Um, an RTK network relies on a, on, a, on a set of receivers in a very specific region or a set of reference stations in a very specific region or a single reference station in a very specific region, whereas RTX is, is a, a, a global network of reference stations. The stations themselves are, are spread uh, further out. So there's sort of pros and cons of, of using each. RTK is a faster technology. Um, you can connect and set up your own base stations, um, and it is delivered primarily over the internet or using a radio between the, the base station and the, and the rover receiver. Whereas RTX uh, itself is, a, as I said, a global network. Um, it operates slightly slower and is not quite as precise. It's the difference between at, at its peak levels of performance, one one to two centimeters in difference. Um, but as I said, a global service, it means that you can use the same service everywhere that you are. There's fewer regional limitations. Um, uh, and it was also able to be delivered over satellite uh, feed. 
So it uses a, a different signal and a different type of satellite to, to, um, to transmit those signals. Uh, RTX is also available as an internet delivered feed, but it's um, primarily a, a satellite delivered service today. That means that the receiver that you're using needs to be able to track and use uh, what I describe as an L-band signal, uh, which the DA2 is capable of doing. Um, uh, but yeah, different, different, different technologies for achieving similar, similar results. Um, RTK is obviously very popular in, in survey and mapping industries. RTX and similar PPP style solutions are, are, are used more widely in agricultural applications, for example. Um, uh, but Catalyst can uh, and, and the DA2 can can leverage both of those things. Okay. All right, well, it feels like that is the uh, the end of the questions uh, for now. Uh, so I think we'll we will leave it uh, at that point. I just want to finish by saying thank you very much for your time. I appreciate that everyone is is very busy. It's been a real pleasure to talk to you all uh, on this webinar today, talking about Trimble Catalyst and the Trimble DA2. Uh, I've, my name is Gareth Gibson. My information uh, there is available on LinkedIn. If you want to reach out and connect to me, I'd love to make your acquaintance. I sincerely hope uh, that I can make it to India one day. It's a country that I'm absolutely fascinated by. Um, congratulations to the Chennai Super Kings for your win uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, my hero, Devin Conway, had a great game. I'm sure that you guys all enjoyed it as well. But again, thank you for your attention and uh, um, have a great rest of your day. Thanks very much.